Yo, what's happening everybody? Gino Drag is back with a new comic call. I just left a shop, uh, a new shop I've just been to. I've been to this Graham, Cracker, Graham Crackers comics. I've been to some of the other locations and I've bought books from them from uh, booths at conventions years ago. But this is actually a new shop set up in Madison, Wisconsin. And by the time you see this, I should have already uploaded the comic shop tour. There's a nice, decent sized shop. And they had a ton of stuff, so after I did the tour video, which was like 24 minutes or something like that, I was still shopping and I was in there for at least another 45 like minutes, hour, easily actually looking around at stuff. So it's kind of different. So yeah, so got my haul and let's go through it. I got a bunch of some free goodies in here too. So their own little Graham Crackers comics uh, newsletter. Got that right there. That's actually from 2018, but... I grabbed it anyway because I don't care. And I'm gonna go through all this free stuff first. I got stuff. I'm gonna have comics flopping all over the place. Then we got, uh, so this is like a little flyer for Comic Con Revolution. What? Celebrate comics here in Chicago. So, new flyer. So, anybody's in the Chicago area. Uh, well, Donald E. Stevens. Where is, that's Rosemont, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's Rosemont though. But, June, if you're in Chicago, June 1st or 2nd, go check out. Ooh, Amanda Connor's gonna be there. Jimmy Pagnotti, cool. Uh, who else? They had a bunch of, they had quite a few guests there. So I'll just show off the front there. You can see the rest of the guests there. Hope that's in the shot. And then those, check that out. Try to hold that up so everybody can see. That should all be in the shot there, yeah. You can kind of check that out, see who the guests are. Got, what is this? Got a Valiant bookmark. Oops, two sided, got some other stuff on the back. I don't know who those are. Or, wait, that's Bloodshot. That might be the live wire lady I saw on the comic in there. Don't know what's going on with that. And then we got a little postcard for War of the Realms. And then uh, Hunted, Amazing Spider Man 17, Nick Spencer, Roberto Ramos, got Craven 100 there. I know, like, if you anybody who's been around for a while knows I like to collect these little postcards from shops and conventions. And I have a nice little stack in my little comic goodie box, whatever you want to call it. I know there's another couple free previews in here. Hold on a second. All right. Because then he went through and uh, did the transaction kind of. Uh, just flipped through everything there. So you got another newsletter there, Mary Jane from 2019. And then this punk, punk Mambo, Mambo? I don't know what this is. A little spring 2019. Oh, it's Valiant. Huh, I didn't see that. So Valiant, some punk rocker lady with the pink hair and pink mambo. Mambo number nine. And, all right, almost to the comics there. <clears throat> First we got, what is this? Marvel Universe, ooh, what is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is, like, but Marvel Universe, War of the Realms, I don't know what the hell this is. Free direct edition. So what I was like, the first thing that <laughs> I kind of flipped it open was this page. Arrow, I don't know what that is, but she looks cool. So that was I like the coloring on that, and that was the first thing that kind of popped. Yeah, it must be like a preview info kind of thing, and almost like an art. Young Guns, next generation of elite artists. What? Oh, in 24. Oh, okay, so then the Young Guns, I was the same, man. Those people have been around for a while, but. So, yeah, now onto the books. All right. I don't know where we'll just start here. So, uh, first up, we got, this was actually two, so I didn't anticipate picking these books up at all, but I just kind of saw them there. <coughs> so, uh, just comic book champion, Tank Girl. Uh, this one is actually, I never read this before, but it's always just kind of appealed to me and I don't know much about it. But they, I guess they started reprinting this, is Titan Comics. They just started reprinting the old stuff in full color. So, got full color there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this page. <laughs> but, that's funny. Anyways. So, yeah, Tank Girl, I don't know. Tank Girl is probably on the level of Judge Dredd, where it's just, there's a bunch of absolute comic greatness. And, I mean, just comics in their full we're comics and we're just gonna do whatever the hell because we're comics and we can do that 
So Tank Girl, I think Tank Girl and Judge Dredd embraced the hell out of that, and that's fantastic. So Jamie Hewitt, Alan Martin, wait, no, I think this is just for the book. This series is dedicated to, with, it's dedicated with love, thanks, and respect to the memory of our friends and original editors, Brett, Brett Ewens and Steve Dillon. So who are the original? I know Jamie Hewitt was. I'm pretty sure Jamie Hewitt isn't he got to help Drew the Gorillas. New Colors by Tracy Bailey, written, designed, and curated by Alan Martin. So, let's see. Yeah, so I don't know. But yeah, so Tank Girl. So this is cool. This was $6.99, and it's issue one. just says issue one. I don't know what it actually all collects. I don't know how the old Tank Girl comics were even structured so or collected, but they had a few, and they had at least the three. But I was when I saw it, I was like, oh, Tank Girl. And all right, so I'm going to buy it. And yeah, so that's cool. I'm really excited to read that because I'm like hella curious. I just want to, that's dope. Because Tank Girl just looks like punk rockers as hell. And she looks like she's an absolute ball to hang out with. So yeah, Tank Girl. Next up, another trade. This one, a series I had heard about before from Image Comics, but I didn't know much about it. Low, oh, it's going to be hella glare. But the reason I picked this up was I was at... So it's gonna be, I'm dropping a bunch of videos that are all from the same day, but I was at a small comic show before I came to this shop and I saw some issues of Low and I like the covers, which this was actually one of the covers. I don't remember which issue it was. It could have been like five or six. Oh, <laughs> it could have been an issue like five or six, but it was a cool cover. And I was like, oh man, those covers look fantastic, but they don't, kind of like Xenoscope, the covers don't match the interior art. So there's gonna be a lot of difference, but that was okay. But they still look, the interior for Low still look good. And actually, I'll just pop this out so you can kind of see. Because I was like, oh. So, oh, I won't show that page. <laughs> that was definitely for uh, mature audiences, I think. So, but this gives you an idea of what the interiors look like. It should be all, yeah. And I was like, oh, those covers look cool. But I didn't know much about it. And I was like, all right. The issues at the, that I saw at the show, they started at, I don't know. It was like five. There might have been a couple another one or two before that but i was like all right i don't know so i just didn't do it and then while i was in there and i was getting ready to leave i was before i was getting ready to go check out i was like oh i just think about low well, let me go back and check and they had the first trade there so i grabbed that and i don't know which issue is this collects i imagine most trades at least especially for image they usually collect between the first four and six maybe so something like that now on to the singles. It got, I don't know what's going on here. So this issue I actually just saw online. I was looking, I don't know, I think it was in another haul video and somebody else's haul video. And I was like, oh, I love that cover. And so I went on mycomicshop.com and added it to the already long cart that I'm gonna be ordering or placing the order for soon. But uh, Shazam number four, Jim Lee cover. And this cover is absolutely fantastic. And I just love it. So I was like, oh, I just wanted, I don't, I just wanted for that cover. I don't even care. But I mean, I'm still going to read it. But I just love that cover. So when I saw it in the shop and it was the last one left, I was like, oh, I'll just get it right now. I right, wait. So Shazam 4, Jim Lee, baby. Uh, next up, this is not in any kind of order. No. Uh, Catwoman 10. Had to get this one just because the cover is fantastic. And. Art Germ has just been killing it. Stanley Lau, AKA Art Germ, who's just an absolute champ. And his variants are awesome. And I like Catwoman. And it's written by Joel Jones. They got a new artist on it now though. But yeah, so Catwoman 10 variant. Next up, what we got here? Oh, Catwoman number three, because I was missing this one. I actually had this one in my cart too. So I was gonna be placed on the next order, but the shop here had it. So I was like, oh, I'll just get it right now. Why not? Actually, I probably should have. I think I just did that too. That sucks. I don't know if I just did that or if it was already like that and I missed it. There's a little ding on top. You, oh my gosh, that looks terrible right there. But, oh uh, well. Maybe if I come across a better copy. And then this one I just got just for, <laughs> this was just for the variant too. Uh, Batgirl 31 because it's just a fantastic looking cover. And our germ is killing it. You can kind of see his little tag in the corner there. In between uh like under a cape there and yeah it's just a cool cover i don't know what's going on in the bad girl no idea but i just saw jordy belair is working on it so that's cool what we got 
Margaret Scott. Is that, is that Margaret? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Paul Pelletier, Norm Rapman, Jordi Belair, Darren Bennett. I remember, do I remember Darren Bennett? Maybe. Uh, Emmanuel Lupacino and Dave McKegg on the main cover. And then Stanley Art Germ Lau for the variants. And next up we got uh, Natural Number 2, finally. I missed, un or missed Issue 2 before. And it's not available on MyComicShop.com. So I was like, oh, I missed out. Actually, you know what? I think the last time I did see these, I was at a shop. And they had, I think they had this issue, but they didn't have, I wanted the cover B. But I couldn't. I hadn't, they, that shop didn't have it. And I was like, oh, I don't think mycomicshop.com had it at the time. And now neither of them are available. And <coughs> in the shop I was at, I think they were, I think this issue was kind of dinged up too. So I was like, oh, it's definitely not something I want. So I just waited. And now both of them are out of stock on mycomicshop.com. So I said, you know what? I'll just go ahead and take that one. So I took it for the comic team. And then last up, Main Girl, Spy Supreme, Black Widow number one. This is actually kind of wild because this is a heavy DC haul as far as single issues. But here's Black Widow number one with the Rest in Peace Stanley Banner 1922, 2018. But, and then, little sketch there. So, Rest in Peace Stanley. There, that, that's the, so that's kind of cool. It also opens up with like a black page and then that kind of sketch there. And yeah, Black Widow. Uh, I am a fan of Black Widow. Who did this cover? I want to say it's Clayton Crane. It is, and that's fantastic because he is a marvelous artist. So that's cool. Oh, a variant covered by Merka and Dolfo, who did Unnatural. So I need to look at that and see what that looks like. Uh, Jen and Sylvia Sosca and Flaviano, Veronica Gandini, and Joe Caramagna. Caramagna? Magna? I don't know. But yeah, so uh, it's Black Widow new series. So I had to check that out. I don't know when that came out, but uh, I'm grabbing it now. So actually, I'll probably take that trade out. And so yeah, that's my little comic call from Graham Crackers Comics. Uh, got some good stuff here, some surprises. Like I say, these two trades, Tank Girl and Low, I did not anticipate picking up. They just kind of popped up on my radar today. So I was like, oh, why not? I'm gonna get them. And I'm gonna look forward to reading those. I'm probably gonna read the Tank Girl first. Cause I've been really wanting the recent Tanger for a while now. So that's kind of cool. And then got all my trades. Like I said, mostly a heavy DC haul, but really it was just kind of secure some of those variants. There's only a couple though, but Jim Lee, Art Dern, got Shazam, Catwoman, Batgirl. So that's cool. So some DC, some fantastic DC characters. But yeah, that's my haul there. Got some other goodies there. And yeah, uh, I don't even, oh, uh, <laughs> I was thinking about how I was going to do this before I even did this video, but uh, I'll just do it right now. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a teaser from the comic book show and my haul. I'm going back. This is a throwback. I don't mean to give you a face of my close up of my face, but check that out. Yes. Three bags. That's what I bought at the show. 78 comics. 31. It was... 78 comics for, I, got, I paid like 31 bucks for them. It's, it's a ton of stuff, seriously. I can't wait to show that off. And that was just my little teaser for that. Uh, so yeah, that's my haul. Let me know what you think, what you're reading, uh, what's going on with you. This is Gina Dragon saying, happy hunting, happy collecting. Having a great comic book day. I've done tons of cool comic book stuff today. And yeah, so I hit up a new shop, got a new tour video. Uh, hit up the little small show. It wasn't that big, but I'll talk about that when I do the haul. And yeah, and so I'm dropping a couple more videos for you, comic books. I got all type of stuff coming. So yeah, that's uh, that's all. So thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting Xeno Dragon. And yeah, peace out. <laughs>